Mr. President, will you pardon Peter Navarro? Good man. He was treated very unfairly. He was treated, Peter was treated very unfairly, a great patriot, a great negotiator for our country. He did a tremendous job with respect to China and trade, and uh, they treated him very badly. The Biden administration treated him very, very badly. It's a shame, uh, but that's the way it is. They treated him very, very badly. Will Paul Manafort come back to your campaign, sir? I, I don't know anything about it, but he was another person that was treated badly, and uh, he was uh, a patriot. But we'll see what happens with that. We have a lot of people involved in the campaign that have done a tremendous job, and uh, you know, based on the polls, we're doing extremely well. Extremely well. Mrs. Trump, Mrs. Trump, are you going to return to the campaign trail with your husband? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Are you confident that you can pay for it? I built a great company, uh, one of the greatest companies anywhere in the country, especially when it comes to real estate, have some of the greatest assets in the world. And this is a rigged trial. This was a rigged trial by a crooked judge and a crooked attorney general. And we're fighting it out with them. We have a lot of cash and we have a great company, but they want to take it away or at least take the cash element away. Billions of dollars in value, billions of dollars in properties, but they'd like to take the cash away so I can't use it on the campaign. And this is just a corrupt group of people. It's election interference, and we'll see how the courts uh, rule on it. And I'll be, I'll be guided. I'll be guided. Excuse me. I'll be guided by the courts. I think that the Democrats have been very, very opposed to Jewish people. That's true, and to Israel. All you have to do is look at Senator Schumer. What he did with Israel is a disgrace. And I think Israel will probably not forget it very soon. It's a very sad situation. Do you think a 16-week abortion ban is smart? Do you think a 16? Do, do you think a say to what? Oh, I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. We need patriots. We need strong people in our country. Our country is going downhill very fast, very rapidly. Millions of people coming across the border, coming from jails, from prisons coming from mental institutions and insane asylums, terrorists. We need strong people in this country. We don't need weak people. Do you think a 16-week abortion ban is smart? We'll be talking about that soon. How soon? We'll be talking about it very soon. Well, we're doing very well with the Jewish voter, it looks like, and we should do very well. If you look at all of our presidents, they're saying Trump was the best for Israel, by far the best for Israel. And we're doing very well with the Jewish vote, as you can see in the polls. Do you think the Biden administration should continue? Do you think the Biden administration would use the Insurrection Act to close the border? Which is out. They have to close the borders. Our country is dying. Our country is being overridden. We're, this is an invasion. Our country is being invaded by people. Nobody even knows who they are, where they come from. Millions of people, I predict 15 million people within a short period of time, probably have 15 million people already. That's bigger than most states. And these people come from the wrong places. They're coming from very bad places. There's no checks. There's no balances. It's a disgrace. What's happening to our country is a disgrace. We have to close the border, let people come in, but they have to come in legally. Mr. President, how will you conduct a mass deportation? Say it. How will you conduct a mass deportation? Uh, that'll be very evident. It'll go very quickly. I will tell you that. It'll go to deportation. We're going to get the criminals out of our country right away. Our country is being invaded, and many of these people are criminals. They're criminals. How can anybody do this? There has never been a president that's done such harm to a country as this president has done to our country. He's the worst president we've ever had. And I'm looking forward to November 5th. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I voted for Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. Did somebody just say, who'd you vote for? Yeah, I voted for Donald Trump. Thank you.